great to see you again. Hi. Okay, uh, so I know you were part of last time's uh, winning team, I guess it was Imperial in Pathbreaker Season 1. Can you please share some of your experiences with us? Actually, it was a tremendous, very valuable experience for me. And um, it was so good because I learned how to effectively handle teamwork, then work under time pressure. If you were to name actually your biggest challenge, what would that be? Biggest challenge was working together with people because we are different people, we have different opinions and putting them all together, blending them into a very rich formula was very difficult so I guess that was the biggest challenge that we faced. As you can see this time's uh, Pathbreaker season 2 has been completely revamped. What are your ideas about that? I think it's a great concept and it's a great opportunity for the school kids because they, in school you don't get this opportunity and I don't think in Sri Lanka and anywhere else you get this kind of opportunity. So it's a great way to prove your talents and show your capabilities and reach great heights. I think it's great. Thank you very much for your time, Dim Hani. Really great talking to you. I've had the fortune of grabbing hold of an extremely busy Mr. Besekara. Now, as we know, Mr. Besekara is um, the Managing Director of Aspirations Education. Hello, sir. Very good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. So, it's the first real big day of uh, the Aspirations Conquest. How do you feel? Well, I'm really happy to see all these young guys and girls uh, taking a lot of interest and wanting to battle it out among themselves. And finally to emerge, I suppose one only will emerge winner. But anyway, well, this is exactly what I wanted and I'm happy that uh, it's sort of yielding results now. Okay, sir. So are you happy with the response to the show? Well, yes. In fact, uh, we have had a very good response. Of course, behind the scene, what you see on camera is only the maybe the tip of the iceberg. But uh, behind the scene, we had to do a lot of uh, hard work going into schools. In addition to the TV, publicity and the papers, uh, our team went into several schools, uh, met the principals and the uh, teachers in charge and sort of spoke to the students, uh, got them to really understand what the conquest was all about and then finally got them interested and then there were a lot of enthusiasm. We have got a very quality, uh, quality set of students here who are really very eager to battle it on. You've chosen a much younger age group this time, between 15 to 19 years. Any specific reason for that? We see that uh, people are getting a little drifted, not knowing exactly where they are heading, what field they have to take uh, in their future careers and all that. So I thought we could really look at the school sector rather than the, the undergraduate sector which we dealt with last time. This way I think we can give a better value to the younger generation who are anyway aspiring to get into a higher education or even technical education education for that matter because this is a larger catchment area and I, I think we have to start nurturing them from the time they basically finish their O levels and also to get their leadership qualities up I mean the focus how they work as a team as well as shine as individuals so this is the time you can actually give something to them and as they are looking out into the world to step into the unknown world so to say with all its vicissitudes in life I think uh, well we would be in a position to give a greater value and a greater a sense of direction and a service to the student community and that's how we decided on this. So finally Mr. Abhisekar, what kind of show can the audience expect from next week? <clears throat> well it should be really a, a sort of a fun as well as uh, some sort of thrill should be there as well for the other their peers as well as for teachers and the principals as well as their parents and uh, and also it will be sort of a knowledge enhancing as well so there is i mean it's just not a sort of reality show in that sense where it's only entertainment <coughs> there, there definitely will be some entertainment involved but at the same time it's something knowledge based as well and bringing out the leadership qualities as well as uh, teamwork while each individual would want to shine, we have emphasized the fact that the teamwork has to go on. I mean, if Sri Lanka as a whole is to come up uh, and back to its former glory, we need teamwork more than anything. So the individual brilliance only will take you that far. But really what we are necessarily looking at is the teamwork. And I hope that these young kids would take us into the next level, right? I mean, that's it's their future now. So we only can make them path breakers and uh, that we have done last time. We are going to do it this time also. All of them, I think, are already path breakers and we are happy for them to go on in life and make us a proud country in the whole world. Thank you. That's great, Mr. Abhisekar. Thank you very much for your time.
The Aspirations Conquest promises to be an exhilarating hour of television full of creativity, camaraderie, and of course, real life thrills and spills. It will be an occasion where the foundations for building future leaders of our country is well and truly laid. Make sure you join us every Sunday evening to find out which of these promising contestants have what it takes to be the next. Fire!